Hi there, it's me, Mr. Proft. Your student brought home some homework today. Uh, you might have questions about it. I'm gonna go through right now and just talk about some of the different exercises they'll be doing. This is the TK homework. So if your student is a TK student, their homework packet looks like this. They're gonna practice writing some letters, like in this case, this is the A. They're gonna practice writing an uppercase and a lowercase A. They're gonna circle everything here, that's an A. They're gonna trace the A's and then write some on their own. Here they're gonna write their name and then circle any A's they find in their name. And they're gonna write the number of how many A's they find in their name there. Maybe it'll be zero, maybe it'll be one or two, it just depends. Here they're gonna do the same thing with the letter B, the letter C, and the letter D. You might check with them and make sure they know the names of these letters. So they're gonna trace, they're gonna find those letters, they're gonna trace and then write some on their own, trace, write some on their own. Again, they're writing their name and writing how many of that letter they found in their name. Over here, they're gonna write the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Here they're gonna count how many objects they have and then write the number. Count how many objects and write the number. And they're doing the same over here. And that is the, the TK students' homework. Kindergarten students have a little more elaborate homework. They're going to draw a line from the letter to the object that starts with that letter. For instance, B, 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 ball, C, K, K, carrot. So they're connecting the letter, E, E, ear, uh, F, F, flag, girl, house. They're matching the letter sound to the object. Ah, this is cool. So once every day, they're gonna sit with you and they're gonna read these sentences. I see a cat. And it's really important that they point to each word as they say it. So once per day, please have them read you all these sentences. Each time you read them all, you color in one animal. So you're gonna read all of this with them, one, two, three, four, five, six different days, right? So once per day, they sit down and they read you these sentences, pointing at each word as they say it. I see a pig. I see a p -i -n pin. This is a secret code. This is kind of fun. <clears throat> this uses letter sounds to spell out a secret message. You look at the picture. This is a mushroom. M -m mushroom starts with an M. This is a yo-yo, yuck, yo-yo, starts with a Y. Duck starts with D, octopus starts with O, ghost starts with G. You fill in all those letter sounds and you get a secret message. My dog likes to play. So they're gonna decode the secret sentence and then write the sentence down there. That was just an example. Here's the one that they're gonna do by themselves. Strawberry hat egg, cake axe, net, C A N, can. So they're going to use the letter sounds to decode the secret message. Here they're going to do some addition. One, two, three, three, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, six, three plus six equals nine altogether. So they're doing addition there. Ooh, I thought I had some subtraction. Oh, okay. There we go. I thought I had some subtraction, but I don't have subtraction. That was the kindergarten student homework. All of this is due back in class next Monday, which is February the 5th. Uh, if your student finds this too hard, just have them try their best. They don't need to do all of it. Uh, homework is optional, so do as much as you can. Please don't push your kids and encourage them, but please don't push them. 
and have them do the best they can and bring it back on Monday and I'll have a little surprise for them if they bring it back next Monday. Please do a little bit each day. Please don't bring the whole thing back tomorrow, uh, especially because you should be sitting with your kid once every day and reading those sentences with them. These are all sight words and decodable words. This is gonna be a really, really helpful to your kid uh, learning to read. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.